conversation on guns has, uh, of course, brought up a lot of different uh, comments uh, from, uh, you know, our viewers back there. And if you want to be part of the conversation, double two four double two, would love to hear what you have uh, to say as we talk about uh, student leadership at the university. For now, back to you, <laughs> David McCarthy <laughs> and Babu. You can see uh, the feedback there. People have a problem with your gun. Story. Not not all people have a problem. Those are just a uh, 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 sample one. But I believe that uh, if you have a gun, a licensed gun, if somebody is somebody suggesting that the student should not be given a cash pen, that's a licensed gun. They should be having pens, not guns at the university. <laughs> anyway, uh, somebody says uh, additionally that... Uh, in 2012, when you graduated uh, in your first degree, uh, how did you arrive at the graduation court? <laughs> you know, the graduation court, you can uh, come the way you feel like coming. You can come in a chopper, you can come walking. You can That's come how you came. How did you, you come yourself? That's why I'm coming to that. Yes. You can come riding a, a donkey, you yes. can come on a horse. Yes. And myself, I just came in a normal way. I just drove, I just drove there with my car and my security. And that's how I came. You came in two Range Rovers and men in black in security. Who are those? Not in security. <laughs> <coughs> you see, if you can go anywhere, that's why I said if you like to go using, if, you, if, if anybody wanted to go riding on a donkey, you would have done that. If anybody yeah. wanted to go in a chopper, you yes. would have done that. Yeah. Yeah, I chose to go driving and that's what I did. So yeah. I, didn't, I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, about uh, uh, the university, I mean the proposal by yourselves to postpone exams. Uh, there's a lot of feedback, people who say, no, uh, final year students want to do the exams and go, let that gentleman stop confusing issues. Two, it's not true that students do not want exams, in fact, you want to graduate unlike him. Um, hi, I'm a university, an Arabi university student and I personally feel we should postpone the exams, we should like, we would like to finish and graduate. We shouldn't postpone exams. I would like to finish and graduate. Looks like this. That's why I'm asking this question. I think, I think Is there, have you done sufficient groundwork to establish uh, a consensus about postponement of the exams? We definitely did sufficient groundwork. That's why I told you there are some people, not everybody will always be in agreement. Yeah. But the majority were in agreement that the exams were postponed. Every final year would also always want to finish and go. But we also would love our, our, our final years. Mm. To, not to go and reset for their exams, to graduate. And, and this one week is so much important that if you take their week to revise for the exams, then they will avoid things like supplementaries, resets, missing marks. So by the end of the day, it is for the benefit of all the students. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what happens, because there's somebody who says, look, um, I am uh, in, uh, sorry, okay, let Babu not lie because I'm in Kikuyu campus and students are already full in exam rooms. So he, if he and others are not ready, they can request for a special exam. Personally, I'm not doing exams now. I've done my exams. I'm in my holiday. I'm resuming uh, my classes from May. Yeah. So the person who's saying that, I think some of these people, you know, administrators also want these exams to be done. So I think some of these people are administrators who are texting this. No, there could be students. I mean, some are, some, some are students, but yeah. some are also administrators. Also could who be administrators. Some are even lecturers. So if, if uh, for example, what happens if the university proceeds to have the exams on, on schedule? Not to go. The, the exams will go on. They are going on. Of course, there are those in Kikuyu already. Yeah, they are saying they are saying that they are waiting school. for exams. So what will happen if uh, this exa university has decided exams ought to go on? You are saying it should not go on. Some students believe the exam should go on. Some of your friends don't think the exam should go on because they are engaged in the campaign. Now, that, that is, is the ground. This is what will happen. That is the future. Because it was the request from the students that we don't do the exams. Okay. Now, uh, let, me, let me just answer this. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was the request from the students that they don't do the exams. So if they go to class, which means they are ready for the exams. And if the majority, the way I know, didn't want to do the exams, then it means that they will not go to class to do the exams. Are you not concerned that you could set up confusion which could generate into a conflict between the university and students and therefore potentially uh, 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 demonstration or riots because students don't want exams, others want exams? There's no As the leader of the students. There's no demonstration that can take place. That's why I told you the majority, if the majority said that they will not sit for the exams, if they go to class to sit for the exams, which means they are ready for the exams.
but if they don't go to class to sit for the exams which means they are not ready for the exams so there is no, nothing like confusion mm. they just requested it is not me who is saying there should be no exams and because personally I don't have exams it is the request to request yeah. students who requested I request request students who are doing the exams a request can be granted a request can be granted a request can be denied what is the response of the University of see, Nairobi but you see if what, what do, you, do you understand the main request I know I know it that. means you have asked for I know that and if the university says no yeah. but you see, we cannot the because of ABC the students don't go to class to do the exams will the desks do the exams okay the, the question will be that you will be granted or not the question is there is a possibility and as you can see from the feedback there are students who really want to do the exams and get on with life and graduate on time there are those who may not have read and are unhappy that exams have come too soon after the campaign they have a legitimate concern mm -hmm. wouldn't there be need for a consensus or an agreed point so that there are not those who will miss exams and then end up with issues and therefore attention at the university because the min minority could try actually to prevent the majority from doing the exams if that becomes the case or the majority could try to prevent the minority from sitting exams this is what i can say for the few students who want to do the exams if they want to do the exams they go to the exam room they'll be given exams for those who don't want to do the exams they requested that they don't want to do the exams majorly the fourth years want to the way uh, the way they call you read some of the comments that the fourth years wants to graduate they want to do the exams yes, yes. then they can go ahead and do the exams the, the the ones who requested that they don't want to do the exams they can be given a week is that how exams are done? Is that how administration is runs? Is that planning? Is that an academic calendar? Or people do exams at a point at time suppose, or when they wish? Suppose there was a demonstration on Friday after the elections. Yes. What would have happened? The university would have been closed. Why demonstration? There, okay, because of the election results. If the administration tried to... Majorly what causes demonstrations after the elections is rigging in of administration candidates. Suppose there was a demonstration. There were riots. Yes. The, the university would have been closed down. Will yes. there be exams today? Okay. No that, that, that's a bad hypothetical. Bad hypothetical situation. Hypothetical. Uh, my, I'm my concern for okay. you, to you, and to, to myself. The university my is question can adjust the calendar. Okay. Anytime. Yes. My question is this: You have used the word request. You are not telling us the, the response of the university. You are not telling us whether you are engaged the vice chancellor. Let me tell you, you have not told me. Uh, you had a meeting on this particular day. You discussed the matter, and the university response was this. Let you are just you. saying those who want to go can go. Those who don't want to, my my, my staying my staying in the university. I know anything that is requested from the administration is never granted. My staying for the first four years in my first degree and now. What I know why? about the administration is that anything you request from them, they never grant. So why you unless okay. you stamp your authority Logical. and say this is the way we want it to be. So, so, so actually there are no requests. We always make requests. Okay, we how making what? Requests. Okay, very let's be systematic here. How was the request for the postponement postponement of the exam med? Yeah. During 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 my swearing in and the swearing in of other school officials, students requested right in front of the deputy vice chancellor who was there and university staff who attended there and students were shouting that that is not, the that's not that's a request. wait fast wait fast that, that was, was in your speeches not a request. Yeah. yeah it, it was in your speeches it you it made your request in the speeches in the, the in the swearing speech, in speech yeah. that is how the a request, request was can made. be written it can be verbal. you have not had any subsequent discussion with the university about postponement of the exams it was on friday so from for, from friday you have not we had, we had, we had the weekend okay yeah. okay let's get back to the matter of uh, the elections there were allegations that you were funded and supported by certain politicians. 3.5 million shillings is a tidy sum for a student. Many students dream of that. That's why, why even me. Why do people just think that students are poor people? Why do people have this notion that if you are a student, then you must be poor. You must be just feeding from hand to mouth. There are students who have invested. There are students from their childhood stage. They were saving and they have invested. Now, well, of course, are those who come from even wealthy families who have. The question here is very clear. There was a, 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 a claim that you are funded by some politicians, and you said that those who support your ideologies. Now, can you clarify? Any because it is a political process. Yes. Politicians can take sides. That's right. And in a political scenario, it is advisable that you take sides. So, if a politician funded me, should not be a problem. To anybody. So who supports you? Also my who supports you? Tell us, be honest. Tell us who, who supports you. you. No, no, I mean, it's obvious. My friend, to somebody. I can't mm. mention anybody 
that this is a specific person who funded me. Those are my friends. Yeah. You can't be a politician and you're also my friend. Mm. Because of course if a person agrees, accepts to fund you, this is a person who, who, who truly trusts in you that you can deliver a who, specific a who pays the piper. <laughs> Finish the sentence. Calls with you, my friend, but let me now ask, add you some uh, more pro protestations from uh, your community of students. Uh, this is not uh, anyone's creation. Hi, we are, we are ready for exams. We cannot let Babu and his campaign team stop exams just because they spend their time campaigning instead of preparing. Not at the expense of everyone. Uh, Bruce from Kisi, the Nairobi University got a poor leader. I'm a fourth year law student at Parklands campus, student, uh, campus and we went to class ready for exam today morning. But Sonu leaders are chasing us out. What kind of leadership is this? I'm embarrassed of this university and I just want There's to finish. There's no Sonu leader who is chasing let me, let me continue. This is ridiculous. Learners who resist learning. Exams, crave for politics, guns. People don't agree with that. Okay, you know, uh, and so on. Uh, I don't want to read some of them. No. Um, what do you respond? How do you respond to that? The students that I know from the University of Nairobi. Yes. They, this, this may be other people. These may be administrators who are posting all this because they have all the time they want to administer these exams. The students that I know are not responding this way. The students that I know are the students who only requested for a week to read, to read for the exams for the last two weeks. Yes. Yeah, so this, this, that these people may be, may be just masquerading as students and they're not students. These yeah. are, are administrators and lecturers. Well, that, that's not, uh, it may be true or not, I mean, but, <laughs> but that cannot be a justifiable defense for your students, the people you represent, who are protesting against your decision, which they feel is undemocratic. They say it's you and your friends who have decided, yeah. and you, you are actually on, uh, on or you're not in session, you're at home. Let me, let me ask a question. The ones who are there are the ones who are saying we are in class, we want our exams. Let me ask you a question. Personally, I'm not starting exams today. I've done my exams. What interest would I have? in telling students that we don't do exams. What interest would I have as the chairman of Sony? There is no interest at all. No. Which means but that you are protecting, are let me clarify, let me give you the reason. You are protecting the interests of oh. some of your mm. friends who are engaged in exactly. the campaign with you exactly. and had no time to read. Those are the ones who at the expense no. of the rest. Three you are three million. Let at the expense you. of the rest. Let me yes. tell you. Personally, when I vied as a Sony chairman, I cleared my, my I, I, I won and then immediately after winning, the exams were scheduled. It was on a Friday, the elections. Then Im immediately the exams were scheduled on a Monday. I went and did my exams and passed. So there's no problem at it. There's, there's nothing that I'm protecting so a few You're contradicting myself. No, 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 no. There's no protection of a few clique of students. This is the wish that majority of the students made. If you can do your random sampling from various satellite campuses, you will get the information. I would, I would have loved it because this program is being viewed by all students across the board eh? those who are for it and those who are against it your constituents the ones who voted for you and 90 percent of these responses some of them are even insulting you others are saying all number of things they say you know you're out of your mind others say you this is poor leadership i mean the really response i am looking for something that says we don't want exams yeah I and I'm not finding it. So much has been posted there. And I'm wondering so why, even though it's a rough, rough uh, random sample, I but you would normally expect that you'd have both sides or people who are saying this or the other supporting or against an issue. Aren't you concerned at the, in my view, overwhelming opposition to postponement of exams? No, 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 no. no. I believe. And if you is this not yeah, something you want to visit, consider? If you visit the students' uh, Facebook site, it is called the New Comrades Forum. Just now, if you open it, you shall see what they are talking about. The exam issue. New Comrade Forum is a, yeah. is, a, is, a, is a website for your people, for the, for the politicians. For the, for, no, 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 the no, student no. politicians. For the no, 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 for all the students. students. That's okay. how we communicate with our students. All right, we'll leave it to you and uh, your, 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 your constituency. Who are the students who are going to sit exams and who are protesting the one exams? Uh, we'll, we cannot get too much into that. Let's look at other things about the university students. Do, do, and, do, do, and, do you believe and so the six of the of the constitution? The integrity issue. Yes, the integrity I, issue. I believe in it. I'm a law student, I follow the constitution. Do you think what you are doing is... Uh, is it is not me who is doing it. It is the people that are... That it is the people, it is the people's cry, it is the people who no, no, want no. this... Who are campaign, people? Your campaign, your it is campaign. the comrades that we are protecting, my students. These guys are also comrades. I told you majority of these Oh, the comrades are the only ones, the ones who support <coughs> you. The real views of the comrades comes... If they were communicating, that's why I told you, if, if you check the new comrades forum, that's where they express their views, you would be shocked that even a thousand and one students don't want that 
So in our campaign the, operations, the, the, my the concern is about campaign operations. Yeah. Is it fit chapter six? The campaign. Yeah. Of now, integrity. Now issues of campaigns, issues of politics, even in the national politics, people use money. There's no problem with that. People yeah. give money. Mm. So politics is politics. Okay. So when it comes to the issues of uh, <coughs> chapter six, so long as you abide by the integrity issue, there's no problem with that. Bribing is not. Bribing is not. There's no any case giving, that has been giving, raised that we were give, bribing voters. There's okay. no any issue that has been raised on that. Okay. Let's yeah. say well, you have now been elected into the office as Sonu Chair uh, for a second time. What are you looking forward to doing for the university? What, are, what is your agenda? What are the issues you want to confront or deal with as uh, the new leadership? Now, as the solo chairman, I would like my students to live a very comfortable life. By this, I mean that my students, because in, in our constitution, we have a right to education. It is our inherent and inalienable right to access education. Now, my students, I would not want them to be suspended. Mm. I would not want them to be expelled. Mm. There are cases with the police where our, our students are just maliciously arrested with malice of thought. Now, we would want a situation whereby we create a relationship between the students and the police. For example, a policeman coming to the student's room to arrest a student for other issues just because the university security believes that this student was wrong. The other day, there's a student who was just pouring water on the floor. Mm. Then, what happened is that a security officer came with the policeman in the university, went to the student's room, removed this student, took him to Kileleshwa police station. When I went there, I asked him, what is, the, what is this offense in the penal code? Where is it recorded that if a student pours water on the floor, then this student is causing disturbance? Was that the now, only reason? I'm sure it, that, that wasn't was the only it. reason. This because student was why, free of charge. Why would, how would the security come and find water being poured on the floor? This is a student that always, he's always right, okay? Most of the times when this student expresses his views... This, the is student always is always right? Okay, in the studentship constitution, we have only three chapters to three, three, three areas that, uh, that we say that a student is always right, a student is never wrong. If rule number two fails, refer to rule number one. And as now, a lawyer, now, as a person who is intending to practice law in the Republic of Kenya, that is a justice system that you can uh, subscribe to? As, of course, the students can be wrong. That I know. Do you hold that yeah. they can be wrong? They can be wrong at times. But you don't seem to suggest that in your own pursuit and your Myself own position. Myself, I'm an advocate for my students. Regardless of, of, regardless of, of, of what of is right or I wrong. I shall protect my students. Regardless of what is right or wrong. Regardless of what is right or wrong. Is that it's leadership? Just, it's just like a lawyer. When you are a lawyer, you will protect your client. If so your, client your students can, can go and stone uh, uh, vehicles or somebody can steal something. I'm just protect. saying, for example, somebody can steal something but because he's a student, you protect. you protect him. I don't advocate his law. for mm. students turning citizens' cars, other people's property, they're stealing them. No, I don't yeah. advocate for that. I advocate for a peaceful environment whereby the public interest and the student's interest can be merged and are catered for. Now, back to the point on what I'm planning to do to the students. Yeah. Now, we're planning as uh, the universities in the country. We want help increment. We want parallel students to get help. We want regular students' help to be increased because this is a loan. This is the money that the government gives students a small little, uh, some, some, some little money yes. that cannot sustain the students for the whole year. We find that they are given 40,000 or 37,000. Mm. Now, this, this amount of money, fee goes around 28,000. You remain with around some 12,000, right. 12, 13,000 for the whole year. Yeah. You don't expect somebody to survive on that for the whole year, yeah. honestly. So we want the government, because it is a loan, lecturers are being added salaries. Teachers are added salaries. Lawyers, no, nurses are added salaries, even doctors. Mm. Now, what about the students? This is a loan that students pay back, so they should be added help mm. to these loans for their, for their, for their uh, safe stay within the university. Okay. We we'll also want to mobilize on the issue of security. Mm. There is so much insecurity within the university. The other day, the university called all, almost all policemen in the in, 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 in Nairobi to go and to come and um, supervise the to come and. Um, Put, check, put checks and balances on the election issue. Mm. So I'm asking myself if a policeman is coming with a gun to protect the ballot papers uh, and they're not protecting the lives of students. It is, it is, it is quite a shame. How is it? it is How is that so? This is what is happening. The other day a student died in the swimming pool. Yes. Now, it is because of the security lapse. Because How at, is the that swimming so? pool, at the swimming pool, we expect, there's always a security, there's, there's always a university 
security officer there. Yes. So we are we are wondering how this student died in the in the swimming pool because a person who dies while he's still alive in in water must swallow some water and then his belly will at least yeah. He'll, uh, yeah. so yeah. by the end of the day I don't agree to the fact that this student died on water which means this student was murdered mm -hmm. and then it, he, he was put in the swimming pool while the student was not living was not breathing surely as a as a learned person with one degree and a, a very serious degree you believe in things called post when people die what kills them is known by doctors that I know hmm? and it is common what sense, is the point of common sense, sense, it is common sense from what we learn yes. that if anybody lies, dies in water okay. we know that uh, some, let me say this well, okay. Okay. Say something like that here because yeah. what you need to do as a leader find out what killed the student by doing post-mortem post-mortem was then carried out they yes. found that this student was murdered then that, there's no issue about it okay was murdered, was so murdered. Uh, this, well, this student was murdered and thrown into the swimming pool which means there's yeah. security lab somewhere okay so that, that's possible. possible that is possible let me ask you this uh, talking about security in the campus of course this is a final question because we are uh, just running out of time uh, there has also been claims that university students are actually engaged in crime criminal activities now uh, some of the uh, university students may be involved in the criminal and a lot of crime actually is planned right on the campuses because uh, students are like any other person these students the main reason why some may be involved in the criminal activities is because of this little money from help yes just like I explained you given 40,000 uh, Thirty thousand is, yeah. is, is your is your is is your is your. So you agree that there are, there, are, there are of course some students who are involved in crime, right? There could be some who are involved. That's in not an admission you want to make. There could be, as you said, you are you are sworn to defend the I students. Even those who are involved in crime, <laughs> I am the advocate. I will defend them, irrespective of the crime that they have committed. I have to defend them. And when the police come in, first you say there is a crime problem, so you need to enhance security. When the police come in to apprehend those who are committing crime, then again, you do not want them. Police that to be only done. come in. Police only come in on certain extenuating issues, issues that are, are not involving the students' interest. Police are coming in to protect the ballot papers instead of protecting the same students. Well, that is impossible. Babu, thank you very much for coming. It's been interesting uh, getting insights into the elections that happened uh, soon at the University of Nairobi. Uh, Babu Cheng, uh, Babu, uh, we know sorry is the new chairman of sono uh, advocating student welfare and student rights uh, heated conversation there thank you for watching this is